like to begin today's video by issuing a disclaimer, all right? Whatever you want to do with yourself, whatever decision you want to make for yourself, please go right ahead. This video is not intended, or the intention of this video is not to encourage you to go have an abortion. It's also not to discourage you from having an abortion. It's just a clear conversation where I would like to share what I think about the said topic you know how i used to think about abortion before now and what i think about it now that's basically what it is and also because i'd like to hear from you before i begin this video i would like for you to tell me that's if you do not mind i mean some people do not mind sharing have you had an abortion before have you ever had an abortion is this something you're grateful that you did is this something you regret doing would you advise anybody to go right ahead to have an abortion or not i really really want to know this what do you think about abortions do you think oh no i frown upon it or mm, i'm indifferent do what you gotta do like whatever rocks your boat go right ahead and do it i would like to read from you i would really like to read from you what do you think about it what is your take about the procedure please write it in the comments before you start watching this video <laughs> hello <laughs> My name is Mrs. Ranzis. I'm so glad that you stopped my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are tuning in for the first time, and if this is not your first time here, thank you so much for returning. In today's video, we're going to be discussing abortions. <laughs> yes, um, before now, I used to really dislike the entire um, idea of getting rid of a pregnancy. The friends that I have, and the way that my circle is, you know, growing up, especially when I was in uni, I didn't have such friends that would be in that kind of mess. And even if you find yourself in that kind of mess, I just didn't want to ever hear abortions in my ear because it just did not make sense how you would want to kill an innocent child and how you would not want to give the child a chance and all of that. And a lot of these things that I used to feel came mostly from um, a religious standpoint, all right? We all know that religiously and culturally, I want to say that it is frowned at, you know, committing abortions is frowned at, like heavily frowned at religiously and culturally. Um, however, what is in the books sometimes is not what is practiced in reality. You get what I mean? In reality, <laughs> I'm sure one in maybe three women get to do abortions every single week do you understand so um i'm here to talk about how i see it now you know growing up and i would say since 2018 when i started going through my own midlife crisis and questioning every single thing when i say every single thing i'm not capping questioning every single aspect of life i question i question 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 like so they will come they ask god do you understand and i really you know, I'm grateful for the times where God would answer me, you know, the weirdest of questions, I would ask the weirdest of questions because reality started to hit, I started to grow up, I started to see things, you know, from a different angle and presently in 2023, what I used to feel about abortions is different because obviously now I am, you know, a lot more mature and then a lot more exposed also i am now a mom so i know the whole thing i know you know what it takes to be a parent all right um so i tend to see it differently so i was scrolling social media today and i saw on instagram where there was this post that really really heavily condemned the concept of abortion in every aspect you know and that is what inspired this video you know like literally condemning any reason you have whatsoever any reason you have that is going to make you make that kind of decision to go ahead and terminate a pregnancy that particular post and in fact the comment section heavily condemned it and then i'm like okay you know i'm really thinking in my head this video is not scripted i'm going to literally freestyle from my head and you know literally talk about me personally um like i said i frowned heavily at it and then now i'm thinking about it you know especially because i am a parent now and i know that having a child is literally 
luxury. <laughs> Having a child is luxury. That is why when I see people that are not so financially stable, giving birth to seven children, eight children, I can never in my life understand it. I have two kids. I'm not doing badly, but I'm still like, can I even afford a third child? Do you get what I mean? Like, can I afford to bring a third human being to this earth? Can I financially, morally, mentally, physically, everly, can I lily 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 <laughs> lily care for that child? Can I afford to give the child the best that I want to give the child? I mean, if you have it, if you, your your children can afford to go to a school of fifty thousand naira and you have to, you can afford to put them in a school of fifty thousand naira a term. When you have six, obviously the quality of life is going to definitely reduce, especially if you're not financially stable and that's the beginning of me thinking about it and then also growing up and realizing that married couples actually i did not know this for the longest time that married couples actually make that decision as well so i'm looking at myself and i'm like why do people make the decision to terminate a pregnancy especially if you're married because when i was younger it was because oh i'm not married society oh the church you know Thinking that oh when you're married you, you have freedom to give birth every single year you know what I mean so I did not know that married couples would sit down and decide to terminate a pregnancy you know until very recently and I'm like wow I mean that is that is something to really think about so let us now talk about the reasons why people go right ahead to make that decision I want to believe that making that decision is very complicated very i i don't pray to ever be in that show where i'm thinking should i keep this my child as in this my picking now where god bless me with because i believe that you know children are a gift from god children are gifts <laughs> all right i strongly believe that so these gifts that god has given to me now should be god knows how to take care of his own you know so i can imagine somebody being in that position or a couple, a married couple being in that position where they're like, these gifts that God has given us, should we terminate it or should we keep it? Now, in Africa, where I'm coming from, where I am from originally, I mean, it's normal, like, we live based off of the grace of God in the way that we understand the grace of God, you know what I mean? Meaning that a lot of us do not plan, a lot of us are not logical, a lot of us, sorry for the word, are not reasonable to literally put one and one together to get two. We most, because the system doesn't really work, so we most likely just leave everything for God and ah, God will take care of us, we don't go die, we go burn out, do you understand what I mean? But in cultures or societies that are literally structured and you know logical they don't deceive themselves because they know for sure you know we in africa will believe that oh every child comes with good luck you get what i mean oh children come with good luck as in children are blessings and god will always find a way and i strongly believe that i strongly 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 still believe that god is not irresponsible and god will always find a, find a way to take care of that child however people already have like life goals and plans for themselves so like i said let us now talk about the reasons why because this post that i saw condemned every single reason but let's talk about one reason why people this just came to my head what if this person that is pregnant is 12 years old and was impregnated by her dad would you really still condemn the procedure would you say, oh, it is a sin to do this and this 12 year, okay, even if your dad has already committed a sin, let us not commit more sins by terminating the pregnancy. How about people that were raped? Women that were raped, when they see that child, what does that child remind them of? Is it the trauma or are they going to love the child? I don't know. I've not been in that situation. It's an open floor. I want to more than ever read from you. I want to know what you, what your take, what your honest take is, whatever your take is. If you're coming from the religious standpoint, if you're what, wherever you're coming from, I just want to read different people's ideas concerning this matter. So if somebody gets raped, and let us even assume that 
the rapist i don't know if this word is okay has um maybe a very terminal maybe hiv for example and then rapes somebody and then transfers it and then impregnates that person do you think having that baby is the right thing to do at that time what happens if you're not you're you're a married couple and you're you're not financially stable you know that oh like i said child bearing is luxury so you know you cannot afford to have another child maybe you have only one and that one you are struggling and you just know that you cannot afford to have another one and i know you would say oh there are measures in place to prevent you know these things from happening but there's only so much you can do to be honest there's only so much you can prevent some people are for example catholics do not the real catholic church does not does not you know believe in family planning um, they would say Billings method is the best and is what is acceptable by the church. So if you now decide that, oh, you want to go with what the church has said concerning this matter and you're going to do Billings method and Billings method for some reason fails. It's not like you did not try to prevent it. You did try. But what happens also if you're not even a married married couple and somehow somehow you find yourself pregnant and you know that you are unready for parenting now the reason why i started to see this thing differently i'm not endorsing it like i said in the beginning but i just see it you know differently from a different standpoint the reason why i see it differently now is as a parent i now know what it takes to be a parent I now know that you need to be ready for the journey, knowing that that journey does not have an end. Do you understand? Like it is, it's forever and ever and ever. So it's not something you want to gamble with. It's not something you want to do trial and error with. It's something that you're supposed to be ready for. Do you understand? Like both parties, first of all, that's why I am always against women that pin pregnancies on men, even though it serves some men right, cha. Mm. But. <laughs> You know, I feel like both parties are supposed to be ready physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, literally knowing now that the moment I gave birth to my first child, the mother in me was born. I literally am not the same person. I'm not even going to lie to you. Maybe I should do a video about it, but I can't find the Mabel that I used to be before I became a mom. So some people feel like they are so unserious that they can't even parent. Hey, do you know? They are so unready because they feel like, ah, my own life is scattered. Like, how can I even parent someone else at this point? They're not ready for it. Is that they're not ready for it? Okay, you're not ready for it. Why did you go ahead to, mm, okay, we know. But the truth is, and the reality is that this person is not ready for it. How about when you have to do the procedure because of health concerns. How about if the pregnancy is harmful to your health? I'm saying this because this particular post that I'm talking about condemned it and said that there is no single reason on the face of the earth why anybody should go ahead with it. So I'm asking, and I really am asking, what of if this person has some health challenges that the person cannot afford to get pregnant and the person is pregnant and the doctor says, oh, this kind of situation, we cannot go ahead. How about fetal abnormalities where there's something wrong somewhere and the child might end up being abnormal and they're like, oh, because of this thing, or maybe the abnormality is already on and they've seen it already and they say, oh, because of this, we advise that. You know, you, I mean, it's not really about bringing, it's not hard to really bring person come to this world, it's hard, don't mind me, but it's not really about bringing the child, it's, it's about, giving the child a life like what is the point bringing a child that you know is abnormal the child is going to come and suffer or you know that you do not even have a house you want to now bring in like it's not even more sin it's more sinful bringing in somebody that you will now come and subject to abject poverty you know you see children of six years old that, that are supposed to be in school hucking hawking pure water, hawking bread in traffic, and the next thing they are smoking, the next thing they don't join gang, the next thing that child is a nuisance to the society. That child is 
the one that they will now send to go and snatch ballot box, you know. So there is really, in my honest opinion, if you know you're not ready to do the work, I mean, you can do the work, you can be ready and still have a nuisance as a child, unfortunately. Um, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you know that you are not available. Now, uh, I, I believe that some women do not keep pregnant, do not keep pregnancies because it's going to either affect their their careers or their education or they're not able to provide for the child some people are not mature enough some people are not independent enough to care for you know they're not they're not independent they can't care for themselves how much more bringing a child you know sometimes the child can interfere with future plans that you've already made so basically sometimes wrong timing not like you don't want the child but you don't want the child at this time because of what we've planned for the family how we want things to go this is not the right time you know and then the most interesting of them all is people that do not want to have kids i think that those are one of the most respected people to me like how can i say this english i'm sorry let me rephrase those are the one of the people one of the sets or groups of people that i honestly respect people that say they don't want to have children people that are sure they don't want to get married i have some special type of regard for them because it takes a lot to know and admit that you don't want this thing for whatever reason eh, you know that you no want this thing begin no be waiting i want for my life people have reasons i've met somebody in this country <laughs> you know people go through stuff and it affects them differently so i i met someone she's a colleague and she was telling me you know my other hospitality job she was telling me how she didn't want to have kids because she just feels like the world is too wicked the world is too sad she feels like um her mom even did her injustice by bringing her and now her mom is getting old so her mom is killing her this is how she described it to me her mom is killing her by making her watch her grow old and her mom is getting sick and her mom is dying so it's a lot of heartache for her that she does not want to cause another human that type of heartache where i'm now your mom and then you've grown to love me and then i'm now die <laughs> and leave you in this wicked world alone so instead of me to have kids i'm going to have dogs you know so she has one dog and that dog is her life and she says oh human beings will betray you but your dog will never betray you this is her own it might sound stupid it might sound like whatever it is this is what she has said she wants she does not think she wants to bring anybody to this world to come and suffer the emotional heartache of losing her or the, to come and experience the wickedness of the world. I don't know her story. I don't know her experience. I don't know why she said that. But that is basically her reason for not wanting to have kids. People have reasons. I've met people that will tell me, Oh my God, look at your baby's feet. There's one lady, me and my mom went to, I think, pound shop. And the lady, the cashier, she was so obsessed with my baby's feet. She loves kids, but she knows that she does not want to have kids in her life. She knows she's been like that ever since, you know. We will say now, Banji, they worry some of them, you know. But I mean, some people don't want to have kids. So, what happens if you're that person? You know, say you know one born, but you can't go get belay. Do you understand? Some people want to have control over their lives, some people want to plan their lives and follow the plans. While some people leave this, leave a space for the God factor, they leave a space for God and say, even if this interrupts my plans, God, you bless me with this child, so I'm going to have this child because I know you have a plan. You get what I mean? So, I think, let us not judge people. We don't know their stories. We don't know how they are processing things in their heads. Let us not judge people because we don't know. The truth is that we do not know why. And, I mean, in the Western world, it's not a problem. If Mabel now, at I now if I get better today, I'll call my GP. Oh, I'm pregnant though. I don't want to. Oh, I'm pregnant though. I want to. If I say I don't want, they will come up again. You know, whilst in some countries it's illegal in some countries it's frowned at you know or it's frowned upon so we just don't know so i just felt like let me come out here too you know because the post i saw and the comments i just pray i don't see those kind of comments here but the comments i was just like really is it only me now that is reasoning like this and that's why i'm here am i the only one that thinks this way or 
something is wrong with me somewhere in my head <laughs> that's exactly what it is and that is why i came here to film this video i did not want to talk for so long i'm going to end it here because it's not about me alone i want it to be interactive i want to read from you please and please have you had an abortion before if you're not ashamed to say you've had one please let us know why you went ahead to have an abortion why did you say i want to have an abortion like i asked at the beginning of this video please let us know in the comments let us know what you think about it do you frown upon it do you not mind are you indifferent about it please let me know in the comments i'll be very glad to read from you i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please smash the thumbs up button and do not leave without subscribing if and only if you want to be a part of this youtube family my youtube family and then also share this video with someone that is passionate about this topic or someone that you know that talks about this topic or if you've had some argument to someone please go right ahead and share the video i'm going to see you guys in the next